say his name and he appears. I believe that Joe Hendry is headed to WWE when his TNA contract expires in 2025. WWE talent, or sorry, TNA talent, excuse me, stolen by WWE? Question mark. That's the question that everyone's asking. <laughs> We're now learning, according to Fightful Select, that both Joe Hendry and Jordan Grace have their contracts coming up in 2025. Joe Hendry's expires in late 2025, while Jordan Grace actually amended her contract with TNA to expire in January. So just a couple of months for the reigning knockout women's world champion. Boys, we have seen this relationship between NXT and TNA grow over the last couple of months. Many have criticized this as NXT just kind of utilizing TNA talent just to steal them. And it looks like it's going to be put to the test with two of the hottest and biggest stars in TNA potentially being free agents and could they be headed to WWE? Kenneth Bombington, let me know what you think. Well, 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 Big Om. I think somebody needs to get hit with a lawsuit, to be honest. That's what <laughs> I think. Because it was reported that Jordan's Grace contract was set to be up like late summertime or something. And then she got it amended to go forward to like January. It sounds like there's some contract tampering going on here. Now, of course, WWE and TNA have this partnership going on where they're bringing um, TNA wrestlers to WWE. And WWE kind of is generous sometimes and lets some of their wrestlers go over there. But it sounds like there's more to it because if she's asking for her contract to be like let go earlier, then there's a reason. You're just not going to get out of your contract if you don't feel secure that you're going to land somewhere else. I'm sure she had a conversation with Shawn Michaels and Triple H like saying, what if I were to get out of this TNA contract? Would we be able to have some conversations? I was like, listen, we're not scared of contract tampering. You see what we do with AEW. If you get out of that contract, we're going to sign you for $100,000 a year. And she's like, say less. Here we go. Off to the races. Should they go to WWE? Jordan Grace, I mean, apparently she's been a problem in the past. But, I mean, she must be doing good in WWE. So, I guess they see something in her. They're going to sign her. Um, Joe Hendry, I think, is to the moon with that young man. Seems like his uh, name is kind of cooling off right now. So, if he signs with WWE, hopefully they can kind of give him that boost he needs to get him out of this world because he got over by himself. So, I, I respect it. I say give the man his chili. That's a handsome man right there. Brian. I don't think you, so. I think he needs to fill his body out a little you bit. You think every you think every man other than Bobby Lashley needs to fill their body up. <laughs> anyway. Brock um, Lesnar's fine. Hey, kids, don't uh, stay off. Roman the Reigns is too. fine. He had a stomach BBL. I'm rocking with it. B BBL Rizzy. Um, <laughs> Brian, <laughs> what's up, bro? What do you think about uh, Jordan Grace and Joe Hendry? Listen, bro, it's no different than what AEW does to New Japan. Oh, you know boy. Saying? No. Yeah. Yeah. They have a partnership. Yeah. And they agree. Like, Tony Khan bought out Will Ospreay's contract. Basically. He didn't ask to get it amended. Tony, Tony Khan said, listen, I'm going to pay y'all this there's money. No, there's no – WWE have. is not asking to amend nothing, though. Nah, they're they're talking to the talent, getting in their ears, saying, listen, you get out of that contract and we got you. They straight up ask for Swerve Strickland. Is there a way you can get out of your contract no, or – I want to be clear. There is a difference between talking to someone – which is an unregulated thing, right? Like talking to someone about a potential deal, but then asking someone to breach their contract, which is what WWE reportedly did to Swerve Strickland. They yeah, asked listen, him bro. It, it's business at the end of the day, bro. We, no, we, it's we, not we, business. It's, 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 it's bad business. It's not we, big business. We, it's bad we, business. We, hey, bro, listen, bro. We're going to do what we do at the end of the day, bro, and we're going to quit at the end of the day. So, listen, Listen, man, listen. WWE... It's no different. You know what I'm saying? It, it, is, it, is it partially wrong? Not even. And I'll tell you why. <laughs> TNA, <laughs> TNA knows exactly what they were getting themselves into when they started partnering with WWE. Let's just be real. I think we all know that. You're allowing your talent to go to NXT. You're allowing your talent to go to the Royal Rumble, a.k.a. Jordan Grace. If you think that nobody's going get to get in her ear and just talk a little bit, you're wrong. TNA knows exactly what they were doing. They want the exposure, but with that exposure, you're going to lose some people as well because that's just what usually happens, bro. It, TNA has become almost like another developmental program 
for WWE. We want to keep it a buck. I mean, you look at uh, the the Rascals. What, what's their name in, in TNA, bro? I don't know their name. The Dirty Bastards? I don't know. <laughs> 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 I don't. <laughs> I, don't know their, I don't know their names either, bro. Uh, but um, but I That's saw that they were they were about. they were grouped up with Wesley. They came over and they was uh they had a feud with him on NXT a mini feud or whatever. Then you got um, bro, Joe Hendrick was working house shows for NXT, bro. I mean, crazy. how crazier can it get? Crazy than that? work, you know what I mean? It's basically. Joe Hendry works for WWE under a TNA contract. So my point is, bro, TNA knows exactly what was going to happen. They chose this life. It just is what it is, bro. You you made your bed. You got to land it. So I, I don't I don't really see Fair. anything wrong. They they allowed their talent to be exposed to the monster. So that's just where we're at, bro. That's what happens when you get greedy for the clout. Now you got to – now you, you made your bed. Now you got to lay in it. Facts. But here's the thing, right? To answer the question, is WWE stealing people from TNA? Yeah, a little bit. It, 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 it's just what they did. I think TNA understood that. They understood exactly what they were getting into because if you kind of look at the momentum that TNA has gotten, a lot of it is because of the partnership that they have had with WWE over the past two years. You know, it's part of the rebrand back to TNA because Impact Wrestling was a dead brand. But the partnership that they have with NXT especially, like, that's when we started seeing TNA houses being bigger than they've been over the past like 10 years. That's when we've seen like that big Montreal show that they had, right? That was like a, a record like gate for them or whatever. Like that all happened in part due to this partnership with WWE because their biggest stars were getting a buzz that they had never had before. And I think TNA and, and, and the people in charge there, they understand that for them, it is a bit of a, get what we can in the short term for the next year or two and try to get as much momentum as possible so that like maybe we can get, you know, uh, some of our younger guys over. So that maybe we can get some of like these younger girls over, right? Because at the end of the day, that's the best you can hope for. In this current landscape of wrestling, there really is only room for, well, apparently Kenny Baum, but there really is only room <laughs> for, two, for two major wrestling companies. Uh, that's unfortunate. I think there should be room for more. Let's get like five, six, seven in there. I don't care. But at the same time, that's the reality of the business. They understand it. And it's up to them to make as much off of it and maximize the value from that exposure. So we'll see what they can do. But are they stealing WWE? Sure. Yeah. But it's just what they do. Look, you don't. But big on. I got a question man. for you. I got an answer. Does Jordan Grace thrive in WWE? She goes as far as Triple H will allow. She is one of the most talented women I've ever seen wrestle. I think ever. Yes, mm. yes, one hundred p. Um, Bring me thick Jordan Grace back. What? Bring me thick Jordan Grace back before she had the muscles. I thought she was really good back then. I oh, thought she was great, really man. good, big home. Bro, why is he so? Hit, hit that like button, subscribe, <laughs> hit that notification bell. I'm not talking about.